And a South Bay Boy Scout community shaken tonight after a hike in Cupertino turned deadly. It's just very uh, hard to imagine yeah. what happened. And no way in and no way out. Roads closed and snow blocking homes, leaving people worried and rescuers busy. We were having nightmare up there. And now down here we're having nightmares. And yeah, the switch has been flipped, turning the lights out on the Bay Bridge. Sort of. We'll tell you what happens next. Good evening. I'm Brian Hackney. And I'm Andrea Nakano. We start tonight in Cupertino, where a mom was taking her son and his Boy Scout troop on a hike when she was hit by a falling tree. This happened at Rancho San Antonio Park, just west of Highway 280 near Black Mountain. Betty Yu has the story on how this tragedy developed. Friends and family of the victim are too distraught to speak to the media as they process this tragedy. Hikers who frequent this park say they're stunned and saddened by this accidental death. David Chu of Cupertino laced up his hiking boots as he normally does a Sunday evening. He had read about the hiker getting crushed by a tree before coming out. I was quite surprised because um, usually the path along the trail are very well kept and that um, I have seldom seen any fallen tree. Authorities say the ground was saturated and muddy Sunday morning on what is commonly called the PG&E Trail. It had been raining off and on. The victim was hiking with her son and a handful of Boy Scouts and their parents from a Sunnyvale Boy Scout troop. They were about three and a half miles into the park when the tree fell around 10 a.m. And of course, it's very woodsy. I'm not saying that there isn't any danger. There's definitely danger up there. But I have been hiking here for so many years, I would have never thought that something like that would have happened. Loved ones came to the park's parking lot to support the victim's husband. He was in shock. The Boy Scouts of America released a statement saying it was saddened to confirm the death. All scouts are safe and there were no additional injuries. Our emergency response protocols and notifications are currently being followed and we appreciate privacy for the family and scout unit. Surya is the father of a Boy Scout. He was about 40 to 50 feet away when he ran over to help. There were about like four, three people on my side and two people on the other side. We were trying to uh, think on our toes like real quick and trying to see if we could lift the log that is on her uh, body and see if we could lift it up a little bit so she could breathe. Santa Clara County Fire said firefighters performed some life-saving measures, but they were unsuccessful. Rashmi Shiva is part of another Boy Scout troop that also went for a hike. It is sad, like, because we, we could have gone in the trail also. Like, I mean, it is very unfortunate, like somebody lost their mom. or uh, It's very unfortunate, actually, because morning we all started together. It's just... It just blows my mind that something like that would happen. Authorities have not released the victim's name, but a neighbor told KPIX the family lives in San Jose. Yeah, Darren was talking.